in this life, I believe we are in a never ending classroom. To where we are in a sense, if I can say this, to where we are always being tested. And you may say to me, Kevin, test it on what? Test it on our performance. Our performance based upon God's word. If you go to Galatians chapter 5, and I believe it is verses 22 through 23, I believe we are going to be tested in those categories as well. I believe we are supposed to have or obtain or maybe I should say in or improve in those attributes. So I believe we are placed in situations to where we should act upon what the Bible tells us to do. Okay. When you die, based upon your performance, in a sense, I guess I can say that, based upon on your performance, what you do, what you say, blah, 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 blah. I believe that is going to determine where you are going to go. Heaven or hell. If you go to heaven, based upon your performance, I believe you are going to be rewarded in a particular way. So I think everyone in the heaven is not going to be rewarded the same way. Because this person over here may do a lot more than me. So do I deserve the same thing as someone that labors more than me? I guess it depends I guess what I am saying depends on case by case, but ultimately, I think what I am saying is true. So we are temporarily on this earth. But I believe there are so many distractions on this earth. I guess making some believe they are going to be here forever or make or I believe demons make some people believe or behave as if they are going to be here forever. I think some people try to make a life, please follow what I am saying here. I believe some people try to make a life somewhere they are going to be temporarily. Let me say it in this way. I believe some people try to, how can I say this? Heaven. I believe we are going to be with God forever after death. And I believe uh, the world is going to be changed and New Jerusalem is going to be placed on earth. Now, we, from my understanding, we are going to be there forever. Okay, 
I believe some people live on this earth as if they are going to be there for an eternity. Like, not really paying much attention to the things of God, but living as if this is their final existence. And I believe that is so much a waste of time. Placing so much focus on education, so much focus on obtaining stuff, so much focus on all these things and no or very little attention to the things of God. Like how worthless is that? Trying to make a name for yourself and not dig in depth of the things of God, not trying to obtain a relationship with Jesus Christ, distractions. I believe we are on this earth to be tested. But as it seems, some people are distracted living as if they are not being tested. There is nothing wrong with focusing on education or trying to make more money or trying to obtain things. But when you place those things first in your life and forget about God, that is what I call a distraction. Aren't we here to be tested? Aren't we here to try to get to heaven? So how can you make, what word can I use? Like insignificant things first and place God, and place God all the way last or not even on your list. How worthless is that? Aren't we here to be tested? I am trying to get to heaven. So, not saying I do everything right because Uncle Kev don't do everything right. Please believe me. But I am trying to get to heaven, and I believe in this life, we are tested so much. So my focus is to try to pass every test that comes my way. Because I believe if I excel, if I get to heaven, I believe I will get rewarded more. So, yes, I am living on this earth. And some of my focus is on this earth. But primarily, my focus is on the afterlife. Why? Because I am going to be there longer than I am going to be here. So even if I become successful financially on this earth, I have to leave everything behind. So if I have gold, silver, rubies, diamonds, I have to leave them behind. I don't know if what I am saying is really getting through to you. Whatever you obtain on this earth, you are going to leave behind. Not saying you should not try to get stuff, 
but place your priorities in order. Right? I want some things, but I don't want to spend so much of my time chasing things and not seek after God. If that makes any sense to you. Because while I am chasing after things and placing so much time at work, how much time do I have for God? Aren't we here <laughs> to be tested? Aren't we here temporarily? So I am focusing so much of my life working and obtaining stuff. And when I die, and if I am fortunate enough to get to heaven, I believe I will regret my life. Why? Because I'm placing my time on the temporary. I hope this makes sense. Nothing wrong with being successful, but what are you doing with your time? Are you so consumed with the earthly to where you have no time for God? How unwise is that? I like having stuff, but I am, you know, I don't really get too excited about stuff these days. Not too much. Why? My mind is more, I guess, set on spiritual stuff. The afterlife. Yes, I would be happy if someone gave me a Mercedes or whatever else, but I don't really have that, whatever you may call it, to get like really nice things so much. I don't really have that in me. Even if I have eight mansions, let's say I have a Corvette, a Maserati, what else? A Bentley? Whatever else. A, <laughs> a Tesla? <laughs> Even if I had all those things, I will have to leave them behind. So why have my life focus on obtaining things so much when I am here to be tested, then after that, go to my afterlife, then after that, get rewarded. Let me focus on the spiritual more. Let me look for success in things that is everlasting. Oh man, please listen to what I am saying. Yes, Joey may have a better, a better car than me or better clothes and shoes and whatever else. But I am looking, if Joey is unsaved, I am looking further ahead than he. While he is, perhaps, while he is looking at the temporary, I am focusing on the everlasting. That's why you need to structure your life around God, not have your life structured around the world to where if you can give God a minute or some seconds, then you may make way with that. That is bad. Placing the things that should be last first, but placing the things that should be first, you are placing them last or not even on your list. 
please listen to what I am saying. Let me stop here. God bless you.